So let's move over now to a topic which is, I believe, of most importance to most of, if not all, new car buyers of an electric vehicle. How far can I drive on one charge and how fast can I charge it back up? So let's talk about electrification in the sense of batteries and e-propulsion and welcome Lutz Stiegler and Erik Severinsson to the stage. Welcome. Thank you, Henrik. For 94 years, we have had combustion engines in our cars. But now we have made a choice. By the end of this decade, all our vehicles will be electric. We have made a choice to discontinue our development of new combustion engine vehicles and divest our combustion engine related operations. This will allow us to focus fully and wholeheartedly on electrification. We intend to set the space within our industry in the global transition towards zero emission mobility. This is absolutely key for the world reaching the net zero emission by 2050 and limiting the impact of global warming. We can maybe discuss the future in terms of volumes and growth, but we will be an electric mobility company by the end of this decade. There simply is no turning back. For us, the future is electric and we will fulfill our purpose to provide freedom to move in a personal, sustainable and safe way. At Volvo Cars, we made the decision to fully focus on battery electric vehicles. The reason for that is the unmatched efficiency of a battery electric driveline for passenger cars. We need to focus now because of the long lead time for industrialization of that new technology and the long lifetime of our cars, since the cars we produce today will still be on the road in the next decade. To make that journey a success, we need to provide uncompromised mobility and for that, our customers can expect long range and fast charging. Our batteries are the key for that. With our dramatic growth in plug-in hybrid sales, we have experienced the consumer appetite for electrified vehicles. With the strong volume growth and increased energy density, we have learned firsthand the powerful shift in consumer demand towards cars with a cord. Last quarter alone, 40% of our sales in Europe were plug-in hybrids. Our success with these cars have teached us valuable lessons on how to engineer and industrialize the future battery systems for our electric vehicles. And we will build on this in our transition to fully electric cars. Today, we have lithium ion batteries with nickel based cathodes and graphite anodes. This is a very mature technology with still some growth potential for the next five to ten years. Major changes and optimizations have been done mainly on the cathode side to increase the nickel content and reduce cobalt. Now we are adding silicon to the graphite in the anode to increase energy density even more. With these improvements, we will achieve an energy density significantly beyond 700 watt hours per liter. But the next big step will also be done mainly on the anode side. We will get different material combinations there, up to pure lithium metal anodes together with new separators and electrolytes with different properties, we will approach real solid state batteries. Those batteries will provide an energy density in the magnitude of 1000 watt hours per liter. Similar integration levels that we will discuss later more in detail, we will provide a range of 1000 kilometer real customer drive. We expect that, te that technology to be mature on a large scale in the second half of this decade. We believe that the shift towards full electric vehicles will depend on how fast we will see better attributes and lower costs provided by these battery systems. This is why we will have developed our third generation of BEV batteries already by the middle of this decade. Batteries which will feature new ways of integration into the car, further improving the efficiency of the electric propulsion system. In the current electric cars, we use the first generation of our batteries, made by dual layers of standardized VDA modules. The second generation is that one here, right behind me. That one enables a completely flat floor in the car, with 40% more energy due to tailor-made modules and the increased energy density. Based on our experience with the cells, we developed together with our suppliers and the use in our cars since 2012, 
we will be able to produce batteries on a quality level that allows a completely different way of cell integration. That we will utilize in generation three. In this generation, we significantly reduce the material that does not contribute to energy storage. Instead, we use the aluminum cans of the prismatic cell to build a structural pack. We do this in gluing the cells together and combine them with a plate on top and on the bottom. And so we create a sandwich structure. That sandwich structure of the battery will actually be the floor of the car. With this approach, we achieve lower weight, higher energy density on the vehicle level, higher torsional stiffness of the entire car, and a better thermal management of the battery. That allows to deliver with the same level of safety more than 20% higher energy. And those batteries will be sealed for life. We will not gradually change over to fully electric vehicles. We will simply replace our present cars with fully electrified versions when we roll out our new architectures designed for full electric vehicles only. At the same time, we will continue to grow our sales at an even higher pace than we have in the past years. This will mean that we need to secure a dramatic increase in battery cell capacity, going from only 4 gigawatt hours in 2020 to over 70 gigawatt hours globally by the middle of this decade. To achieve this, we need to secure our future capacity, both through strategic partnerships and through buying cells from top industry suppliers. To use cells and Volvo-specific modules from leading suppliers was the first step. In the future, we will go more and more into vertical integration throughout the battery value chain. By a better control of the value chain, we will not only be able to make it more efficient and optimized for our needs, more importantly, this will enable us to ensure a sustainable management of batteries all the way from the mine to the end of life. This is a race, and only collaborators will win. If we would do everything ourselves, it would take too long time for us to change. And we would simply not be able to develop and produce in-house cells in time to support our expected growth. To be able to fully steer our transformation, gain speed as well as knowledge, we will seek the strategic partnerships with the best in the industry. A proof point of this strategy is our planned partnership with Northwold that we recently announced. This partnership is built on three main pillars. In the first step, we will join forces to develop the next generation batteries utilizing Northwold's excellent cell design and manufacturing capability and our system and integration knowledge. Together, we will develop tailor-made cells with the next generation chemistry towards solid state attributes. In the second part of our collaboration, we plan to source 15 gigawatt hours of annual capacity with the Northvolt 1 plant in Skellefteå, Sweden. This will start in 2024 in order to meet our capacity ramp up of electric vehicles. The third step is to build a new gigafactor of up to 50 gigawatt hours of annual capacity. Combined, this will secure supply for the next generation of fully electric Volvos built in Europe. Together with Northvolt, we also plan to take the next steps towards sustainable production of battery cells by using both renewable energy as well as integrated recycling to ensure that the valuable metals and minerals can be used again. This will help to substantially reduce emissions from battery cell production, which currently is one of the most carbon intensive steps in electric vehicle production. With this fantastic collaboration, we will join forces with a partner that share our fundamental belief in sustainable mobility. Another important in-house product is the software that controls and monitors the batteries. We have a long history of in-house software in Volvo Cars propulsion systems. And the battery control software in our current battery electric vehicles is made in-house as well. That allows highest battery cell utilization while having a maximum of safety in operation. This in-house software strategy also allows us to actively learn from our customers using field data, while of course adhering to highest standards of data privacy. Together with our over-the-air strategy, that enables us to provide updates regularly to all customer cars with improved attributes like usable energy and fast charging properties, as we learn more and more about the user profiles in different markets. Data is the key and we use this also for the next generations to further improve the attribute balancing. And thanks to our close collaboration with Northwall, we can utilize this data also upstream in the production process. However, batteries have to be charged. 
We believe that charging is the single most important attribute for range anxiety, so we are constantly improving our fast charging performance of our battery systems, in our current as well as in our future cars. Despite that we are significantly increasing the size of our battery packs in our future vehicles, we will half the charging time for the customer relevant 10 to 80 percent state of charge. This is done by improved cell attributes, mainly reduced internal resistance. Other aspects are an improved thermal management and an adapted design of the entire high voltage system. This allows us to go beyond 200 kilowatt charging power in generation two systems and utilize full 350 kilowatt charging power on 800 volt in generation three systems. Another big step is that we will offer bi-directional charging for our next cars and provide an integration into the home infrastructure of our customers. We can support our customers that want to reduce their CO2 footprint and use the car as a storage for their solar systems. Or we can help the customers to reduce their energy bill in markets with time variable energy prices. Because customers can charge when prices are low and use the energy provided by their vehicle battery later in their home when prices are high. And in the future, with a bigger fleet of electric cars with rather big batteries, we will enable our customers to contribute for energy grid stabilization. And by that one, be an enabler to allow more renewable energy in the grid. This is a real contribution to sustainability, not only for the batteries and the cars, but also for the entire society to become faster independent from fossil energy. Our strategy is to vertically integrate in the value chains for the rapidly changing components in order to spearhead the electrification of our industry. This does not only apply for batteries. We will also develop and produce our own electric driveline for our future full electric architectures. To gain speed in our vertical integration, we will use as much as possible of our existing infrastructure and convert it towards in-house production of strategic components for electric vehicles. The first proof point of this is that we will start producing our own in-house developed e-machines in our current engine plant in Skövde, Sweden. Thus building on the infrastructure and knowledge we already have and use this as a blueprint on how to leverage on existing assets while changing into a fully electric company. We are transforming from a company that have sold combustion engines for 94 years to a fully electric one by the end of this decade. It's not a matter of if or when, it's just a matter of how. We are convinced that we will succeed with this, not because we're small and nimble, but because we're completely focused on and passionate about safe, sustainable mobility. Thank you.